Hello everyone. Well, you join me on a very, very wet, damp, dank day in Herefordshire and it's been like this for the last, I'd say, about seven days or so. And in this video, I'm hoping that we're going to get some grapes that are very nearly ripe and worth picking because I think if we leave it any longer, either the birds are going to get it or they're just going to start falling off the uh, falling off the vines so we've got to uh, crack on with this otherwise we'll find that the whole year's effort has gone to waste so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to use my little free refractometer which I've used in previous videos but this time I'm going to use it properly I've been a gl bit glib with it in the past uh, where I've just tested one grape or so but really you need to test at least 40 50 60 grapes from lots of different um, vines so that you get a rough cross-section of what all the grapes are doing in the vineyard and it's only that way that you can tell whether the crop is ready to pick. Now of course apart from uh, the sugar levels in the grapes you've also got to take into account acidity and uh, well I'm not going to be too worried about acidity in this lot because it's only the second year we're only sort of going to do these red grapes as a little bit of a trial to be honest but getting the right sugar levels is really important and we can always adjust sugar and um, acid levels a little bit post harvest with adding things like dextrose or sugar or tartaric acid and things like that so we can adjust things a little bit but anyway back to the uh, main purpose of this video and that is to going through um, how to use this refractometer properly so all you'll need is a refractometer you'll need a little glass you'll need a bag and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose about 20 or 30 vines from random and we're going to choose um, you know just the random grapes off the vine as well so the best way to do this is just to um, do three paces up the, uh, the each uh, each time uh, pick a vine and close your eyes or look away and just pick two or three grapes off the bunch and then walk another two or three or four or five paces up the row and pick another vine at random and then just um, pick a few more vine, uh, pick a few more grapes that way, and that's the best way to do it. To be honest, um, if you can get more of a sample, the better, because then you're taking a better cross section. And um, what we're going to do then is put them in the bag. So I'm just going to get on with that now. I'll join you in a second, hopefully with a, a bag half full, or well, not half full, but you know a little bit full, and uh, then we'll get to the next stage. Okay, so we've got probably about, oh, I'm looking, guessing about 50, 60, 70 grapes in there or so in the bag. Um, I haven't just chosen the big juicy ones, I've chosen little ones, big ones. Just basically closed my eyes and just picked a few off, uh, off a bunch as it were. So um, anyway, got that. All we do now is we just squish it and we squish it so that we just mix all the uh, juice. And I'm just going to see if I can get every single grape in there all nicely squished it's coming out as a lovely red color which is I suppose is what we want really for red wine but uh, yeah I think that's pretty well squished now so we've got all the juice nicely mixed up in the uh, the bag I think I've got every single one there then what we do is we take our glass and we literally just pour the juice into the cup now this is probably where it goes absolutely everywhere so I'm going to be a little bit careful when I do this so that I at least get some of the juices going into the into the glass there. don't know if you can see that. To be honest we only need a drop but we're just trying to take um, a mixture of lots of different... Right I'm just going to leave that one there for a second so that's the, all that done. There we go we have got some lovely coloured um, grape juice and um, that is exactly what we want. I'm just going to taste it to be honest it looks too good so I'm just going to have a quick taste. Hang on. Oh man that is so good. Um, now I can tell it's not quite ready. It's sweet don't get me wrong it's really nice and sweet but it has got a little bit of um, acidity there as well which is nothing wrong with that in grape juice it's absolutely lovely but um, as wine we want to get that acidity level down a little bit more uh, before we actually start the, the wine making process but sweetness wise it's not far off so with my little refract refractometer 
I'm just, you can use a pipette, uh, to be honest, which is probably better, but I'm just going to pour a little bit of juice on the lens. You only need a drop, really. There we go. That's far too much, but anyway. Okay, so we've got it on there. Squish it down, get rid of all the air bubbles and have a look through. And now we should get a much, much better idea. Yeah, it's getting there. A much better idea as to what the whole vineyard is, uh, is doing. So if we were to harvest uh, the whole lot today, this will be the sugar content um, of the whole crop. Now, looking through here on the brick scale, which gives a percentage of sugar, we're now up to 18% sugar. Um, that would roughly, very roughly, give us a 9% alcoholic wine. Very roughly, it's not a hard and fast thing. Um, you just roughly halve the, the bricks or the sugar content and that will give you your finished alcohol content. As I say, it is only an approximation. Um, don't use it as a hard and fast guide. But um, yeah, 18%, so we're not far away. Um, I'd say another week to um, 10 days or so. And then we should seriously think about uh, harvesting the lot. But ideal um, sugar level in the red wine should be around about sort of 20, 22 minimum really, um, up to 24, 25 perhaps. Um, now whether we get the sunshine um, late in the season here, to really drive that sugar level up is a bit of an unknown. I'm really hoping so, but if the last week is anything to go by, where we've just had drizzly, wet, grey, you can tell by the uh, you know the weather around me at the moment, it's just dank and dull and horrible. We want really nice warm sunshine to really drive up that sugar. The other problem uh, we've got for leaving it much longer is that all the birds will dive bomb the um, the vineyard and eat all the grapes off before we can get to them and also being fairly damp and wet and horrible we have got the uh, the age-old problem of mildew i know i keep going on and on about this but it can completely wipe out the yield if mildew takes hold fortunately it's not a problem in the rondo uh, grapes um, at the moment touchwood uh, but we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed on that Okay, so that's the refractometer, but what about the other pieces of equipment that I need to, to make wine this year? Well, check out this video here, and I'll go into the other pieces of equipment that I use, and also a huge thank you to my Patreon members that really help my channel out, and they get a lot more background information and more videos about what we do here for just a few dollars per episode or per month. Totally up to you. So maybe I'll catch you over there. Till the next one then. Bye for now. really good.